We hear this from players and coaches around the world that there is no Bandeja in the modern game. But in this video, we're gonna answer that question. So the modern game is absolutely getting faster and we are seeing more and more aggressive overheads like the Vibra and the Topson Smash being used. But you only have to look at the World Paddle Tour level and the top players around the world and they are still using that bandeja. So the question is, is, is it right for you? If you're a beginner or recreational player, it's absolutely important to learn this as part of your progressions. From the high forehand volley, it's a similar action to the bandeja where you move the arm back and you're in a similar position and have a similar technique. So it's a good progression to learn after you've done the high forehand volley. The lob is such a big part of the game that you will have a variety of overheads anyway. If the ball is coming into this position, you might be using the Vibra more or the Gancho or even the Topson Smash and therefore the Bandeja will be a part of that variety. And it's the same on the right hand side as the left. You get huge variety of lobs, so you need to have a huge variety of overhead. enjoying this content please hit the subscribe button and also like this video we will definitely appreciate it contrary to what most people believe the best players in the world in the world paddle tour you've got lebron and salazar from the ladies are both using the bandeja all the time and if they are using it then almost certainly you should be learning it personally i use the bandeja a lot and i'm glad i learned it we teach all of our students how to use this shot and at least then they have the option to use it within their game and on our online platform thepaddleschool.com up in this corner, we will link to a place where we have several courses on the Bandeja and the Vibra. 